Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this new Moto G, that's the second generation 2014 edition. And in this video, uh, I'll be uh, showing you the quick benchmarks and also the configuration. And we are also going to test the USB OTG functionality. Some of you have asked me to do that. And we'll also look at the initial battery life uh, uh, that I'm getting. This is on the first charge. It's been just around uh, 16 to 17 odd hours since I'm using this device. I uh, already did the unboxing of this uh, device. So if you're interested in a general overview, you can check out that video. Uh, so let's uh, quickly get on with it. And uh, first, let's have a look at the configuration using the CPU Z application. And as you can see, it's uh, running on the Snapdragon 400 chipset. Uh, which is clocked at 1.2 gigahertz it's uh, the same uh, processor that was used even in the earlier moto g and the gpu is the adreno 305 and it's a quad core processor uh, moving to ram again we have one gig of ram but uh, with this new moto g the screen size has increased it's a five inch screen and it's a 720p hd screen uh, the battery uh, is the same. It's a 2070 milliamp hour battery and the battery, the back cover can be opened, but the battery is sealed inside. So it's not user replaceable. Uh, these are the sensors. So it looks like Motorola has provided almost all the important sensors. And some of you are asking about gyroscope. Yes, we do have a gyroscope. So these are the sensors that are provided. So that's for the configuration. And I've also run the benchmark. So let me actually quickly show you the scores now. And we'll start with the quadrant and as you can see our device got a score of 9053 on the quadrant benchmark. Uh, let's now uh, move to Antutu and with Antutu we got a score of 18016 which is again typical for Snapdragon 400 chipset clocked at around 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, I also ran the Geekbench 3 and here for the single core we got a score of 340 and for the multi core we got a score of 1151. Uh, and uh, so that was for the benchmarks. I also ran this Nina Mark 2 uh, where we got a score of 56.9 FPS. That's almost 59 FPS, I would say. So again, a decent benchmark scores. Uh, but again, uh, the RAM on this device is also one gig. Uh, now, if we talk about USB OTG functionality, uh, one thing I did notice is that out of the box, if you just plug in the USB OTG cable, uh, it is not detecting it. But uh, I have installed this third party player called Nexus Media uh, Importer. Uh, Why using that USB OTG is working. So you have to use a third party app uh, like uh, this uh, Nexus Media Importer. And as you can see, now it should detect in a second or so let me just swipe it away sometimes it does not work properly so it's sad to see that motorola hasn't provided this functionality out of the box even with the earlier uh, moto uh, g uh, out of the box uh, it was and as you can see it has detected now and uh, this is my usb otg and let me just play a video let's try to play this one and as you can see this is being played from the what do you say uh, directly from the pen drive so as you can see it can play that so usb otg functionality is there but you, sadly you have to use a third party app i do hope that motorola fixes it so that we don't have to use any third party app but as of now we have to use a third party app to make the usb otg work uh, now talking about the battery life again it's too early to give an analysis this is the first charge uh, for example let me show you the battery stats actually it's at 34 percent as you can see and i've been using this device for about 16 hours now and i charged it uh, to 100 percent and i was start i started using it and as you can see this is the graph the good thing is that at night uh, the battery drop hardly drops so that's a nice thing and uh, this is almost 16 hours we are at 34 percent right now and i'm not using any battery saver option so this is without that and if you see the screen on time uh, we have about 2 hours 47 minutes uh, so we, i might get about three or uh, three hours 30 minutes of on-screen time uh, but again uh, this is the first charge generally it takes four five days and a couple of uh, charge cycles to get an accurate idea about the battery life so i'll be uh, testing this device a lot more uh, i'll also be doing a gaming review with this moto g so stay tuned to my channel so that's it for now for this video thank you for watching it this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video